take a, it would take a while for people to join and yeah, ask, ask questions. questions. And stuff. Has it been popular? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Did I do it with invaders? What? Did it in Vegas? Did it with you Beast Pickett? Everyone's saying, hey, I did it with Brad Pickett. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I did it with Brad. When you did it with my best thing, he loved it. Everyone's just saying hello. He just like, yeah. just like, go on, ask me some good questions. Give me a wave. Give me a wave. <laughs> How do you feel to be fighting in your home country? I feel really excited and really looking forward to this opportunity and it's only been two years since I fought last in Glasgow but I know um, it's it feels longer so I'm just really looking forward to it and grateful to be part of it. What was your favourite fight from 189? Uh, <laughs> the Conor McGregor fight, you know. <laughs> I love the fight and the finish. <laughs> What did you have for breakfast? Oh, two boiled eggs and some cold meat and a black coffee. What do you think of Arnold Allen? Who's that? He's <laughs> an English fighter. Oh. Hello from Mexico. Hi Mexico. Who's your best friend in the UFC? Don't have a best friend really in the UFC. Er, uh, or unless you call Stitch, he's in the UFC. He doesn't fight, but he's in the UFC, so yeah, Stitch. <laughs> Is this the biggest fight of your career? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Uh, I try and look at all my fights as being the biggest kind of part of my career and stuff, but it doesn't get bigger than this fight in front of 10,000 people in my home country, so yeah pretty much the biggest, I'm never going to, I don't know if I'm going to get to live this again and it's going to stay with me for a very, very long time. Has your preparation changed since the change of opponent? Not really because it was only a week uh, to change. It's not, all my training was done last week and then I got the call about Beck so there's nothing really I can do. I want to fight in my home country so uh, at the end of the day, I've just been concentrating on myself and uh, the opponent didn't really matter uh, come Glasgow show. It's just going to be me in there with my demons. Do you watch Game of Thrones? Yeah, I do. Uh, don't really get much time to watch TV, so the past six, eight weeks I've not really caught up with it very much, but I'll catch up with it in the, after Saturday night. What's your favourite food after the weigh-ins? Usually after the weigh-ins I come back to the hotel and usually get room service, a wee bit of salmon, some rice, uh, and then I'll go, yes, I just remembered I can go to Nando's. Usually I go to Nando's, but it was, it'll be like at night time, so yeah. My, I would say Nando's. What's your walk around weight? Usually 135. Uh, I like to eat a lot when I'm off camp and uh, yeah, just bring it down gradually, but usually walk about at 135. Please. Just get a lot of people saying hello. Hello. Do you like Hello. cheeky Nando's? <laughs> cheeky Nando's. Love a cheeky Nando's right now. What's the best fight you've seen? I've ever seen. The Robbie Lawler fight at the weekend was pretty. The co-main event was pretty good. Yeah, but there's too many, there's too many good fights to pick one, one out of them. the lot. I think how many UFC fights especially there is. It'd be hard to pick one. Who was your favourite fighter growing up? Uh, usually I'm pretty biased, you know, I'm surrounded by so many good fighters and I would just like mention any of them. I've not really looked up to like most people look at Bruce Lee and that kind of stuff but uh, I've just kind of surrounded myself with 
my team and they're the ones that can inspire me as fighters. Picking Bisping or Talis Latus? I have to go with Bisping. Uh, yeah, Bisping. What's been your biggest improvement this camp compared to last? I was working a lot on my cardio because I knew Beck was going to be tough and she'd be in there till the very end. So yeah, I just kind of brought in more cardio to this camp and pretty much the same. Uh, I just wing it really. Uh, as long as I'm enjoying training, that's the main thing. What's your favourite submission? Uh, arm triangle. Used to be a reverse triangle, but fuck that in the tough place. Oops, excuse my French. Was there really a lot of drama in the house, like it, like it was portrayed? Yes, it was worse because if you think about it, it was, they were only showing like an hour of the, the episode, so yeah, times that by well, 24 hours a day, apart from when we were sleeping, yeah, there was pretty much drama all the time. What would you buy first after a bonus check? A car. I need a car. <laughs> Scotch egg and haggis. Haggis. Deep fat fried. There's some dirty ones coming through yeah, some stupid ones. Mm -hmm. Would you like to fight in a stadium in Dublin? Of course I would. Like, I would fight outside of the stadium. <laughs> if it's a fight, then I'm up for it. Do you like football? Uh, not really, but my family do. You know what the next question is going to be? Celtic or Rangers? I <laughs> bet that one, I know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kilmarnock, that's where I'm from, so it's like in between. It's good to be in the middle. <laughs> you ever think about going up a weight class? Uh, yeah, I think uh, I would if they put 125 in, especially if they start banning the uh, IV drips and stuff and as I get older then the weight cuts will be harder so yeah I would consider only if UFC put in a 125 division because the 135 is too much a, a jump. Have you trained in Sweden for this fight? No I've not trained in Sweden and probably not going in the future. Do you like cookies? Yeah, my favourite cookie is white chocolate and raspberry. When was your first tattoo? My first tattoo was after my first invective. Well, in fact, that was the start of my sleeve after the first invective fight. Uh, my first tattoo was like when I was like 17 when I shouldn't have. And I've, it's currently been over, like, uh, redone. Cover, cover up. How many do you have? I just had to fill out a form there and like they asked how many or give descriptions. I have one, two, a sleeve, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and I'm still going. I'm booked in for one after this, uh, this weekend. Iron Brew or Coca Cola? Iron Brew. Do you ever get nervous before a fight? Yes, every fight. And I don't care who you are, you're, you're going to be nervous. Uh, and it never gets any easier. What age did you start training? I started training when I was 13 or 14. Who's got the best haircut in the UFC? Me. <laughs> I like it because it's unique. What are your thoughts on Michelle Wilkerson? She's cool. I really like her. I don't know her personally, but her character and as a fighter as well, she comes across really well and she can fight, so she's really cool. What car did you want to buy? 
a Soroko. What do you think of uh, Joanna Janjacek? Uh, again, I don't know her personally, but she comes across really well, and I think uh, me and her would make an awesome fight because she's a great fighter, and yeah, she's cool. And she likes trainers. How's your fight going to end? I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to end pretty quickly. Uh, just going to go in there and perform and hopefully come away with the KO and give the Scottish fans a fight to remember. Your favourite fight that, that you've been in? My favourite fight's probably been the Lena fight when I was in uh, Super Fight League. My second fight, it was only my second fight and I've uh, she filled a lot, so I was just really happy that I uh, kind of exposed her for filling and that she was a bad loser. Any dates coming in? Any more? Dates? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they know where to take me Nando's and for a <laughs> white you. chocolate and raspberry yeah. cookie for dessert. And then buy you a car. <laughs> yeah, so real cool. Alright, cool. Do you want to say what you want to say? Uh, thanks guys. See you.